The Packers will have a first and goal. Receiver to the right, Jimmy Graham. Rodgers, quick toss in the flat. Left side, got his man for the end zone. And a touchdown. First and goal podcast on Spreaker.com. And we're now on all your favorite platforms. iHeartRadio, Spotify, CastBox, Google Podcasts, Tumblr, YouTube, and SoundCloud. You can always follow us on Twitter at First and Goal Pod and our Facebook page, facebook.com backslash First and Goal Pod 33. Get money, yeah. Every day I'm hustling. Uh huh. Get money, yeah. Every day I'm uh huh. Keep money here. Every day I'm hustling. Uh huh. Keep money here. Every day I'm. Every day I'm. Every day I'm. And welcome everybody to another live edition of First and Goal with me, your founder and producer, Jay in the UP, and now your host with the most, Dave. Up everybody. And, and now, and now, that. now everybody, we have the fantasy man, Agent Busby. Hey, what's up, first and goalers? What's up, fantasy world? Welcome. Ooh, I like that. First and goalers. I like that. Welcome to the yeah, team, Dylan. The first and you're... goalers and goalies. Yes, your debut <laughs> first episode. First and goalies. <laughs> All right, guys. We are running a little bit behind, so we're going to get right to Dave's part here. All right. Well, one ahead. I found two news updates for today. One that can... Shut up, all the Brian Bulaga haters. PFF just put out an article not even two hours ago. Not an artic- article, a tweet, sorry, that says Aaron Rodgers was rated 89.7. We all know he was going to be the highest. Bakhtiari was a second. But guess who was fifth overall on the offense? Brian Bulaga. So we have both tackles rated top in our offense. But everyone can stop the whole cut Bulaga card now. I'm sick of it. Jay's sick of it. So let, let's just move on from that. Another thing that popped up, Devontae Adams came out and said, Geronimo Allison is going to be a dangerous weapon from the slot this year. He said he thinks he's going to be the Julian Edelman of the Packers, is what I read. That's going to be big. That could be because, again, Devontae, I will – trust what Devontae Adams has to say. He doesn't say yes. a lot, and he's saying about a couple of players some things that should make all of the people out there's ears perk up. Well, this is actually going to move on to Dylan's thing, and I'm going to say right now is, I mean, we were talking about MBS earlier, and we told him, hey, MBS, Mark Lovell and Scantling is playing number two outside wide receiver. He ain't going to be playing the slot. It's going to be Adams and Allison switching in and out all over the place. And Allison has that connection with Rodgers. He has that trust factor. When plays break down, there's Geronimo. Just there with Adams and MBS and ESB. All of them are there with that trust factor. So I, I can see Devontae completely saying that with 100% truth, that Geronimo is going to be very a very targeted player this year in the Packers offense. Yes, I that's all I got for that. today right now, though. That's it's like I said, it's just the the, the dead part of the off season between mini camp and training camp. So hey, I'm lucky even news came out today. Yes, and with that, we are going to go to our newest segment and our newest team member. We want to welcome Dylan Busby, and now featuring Dylan's fantasy. Files. I'm we so have, excited. We, yeah, we have a little cut that I made up for you, Dylan. So here's Dylan's fantasy files. I need to win this year. That guy right there, he's going to help me win. The players
and a uh, little light. <laughs> There you go. Go with it, Dylan. It's all you, man. What you got for your fantasy files today? What are you talking about? All right, guys. Fantasy world. Well, let's just piggyback a little bit off of what Dave was saying with Geronimo Allison. I think that's a big deal because Aaron Rodgers has historically carried a good number two fantasy-wise. So if you can figure out who it's going to be between MVS and Geronimo Allison, that's a big deal. And I realize the Packers are going to run three wide receivers most of the time anyway. So, I mean, Allison's going to get his catches, probably a few touchdowns, but to know who's going to have the most snap percentage, it's huge. And if MBS is the clear-cut number two, whenever they do go too wide, what have you, then I think in the long run you're going to want MBS over Geronimo Allison. Even bigger news in a fantasy world, um, I don't know if everyone's been following the Zeke situation, but Finally, he has met with Roger Goodell over the whole incident where he was handcuffed but not really arrested. And according to Mike Garofolo, there's optimism that Zeke won't be suspended and that it's, quote, more of a warning, unquote. So there you go. Zeke's probably not going to see any time off the field when the regular season starts. He's going to be there. Um, not likely a suspension. As far as Tyree Kill goes, that's another huge deal. Um, the latest I've read, a Chiefs official says that um, maximum four-game ban is what he's hearing. So that's according to some random Chiefs official from what I've read, but at least we're getting a, a clearer picture of what's going on with Tyree Kill. For and breaking his kid's arm, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but... uh yeah, you know, I'm, I stick to fantasy. I, I'm going to stay out of the politics for that. Oh, I got so, you. I'll hold the politics tonight. later. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to talk politics. Well, you guys can definitely jump in whenever. I just wanted to discuss, as of right now, early in July, quarterback rankings. I got 10 to 1 for you guys tonight. Um, the rest of it Ooh. will be posted later on, um, the top 20. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to just jump right into it, let's do it. Yeah, go ahead. So give us your quarterback rankings. Let's do rankings. it. Cannonball. Right, so we can just zoom through the first five, save us some time, and then we can actually discuss the top five. So at number 10, we got none other than division rival Kirk Cousins. What? Number nine. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I wanted to wait for that shot of you. Number nine, we got Drew Brees, the legend. Number eight, Philip Rivers for the L.A. Chargers. Number seven, the hot and ready Baker Mayfield for Cleveland Browns. Number six, we got Matty Ice down in Atlanta, Matt Ryan. So there's your 10 through six. Again, just to reiterate, Cousins 10, Breeze 9, Rivers 8, Mayfield 7, Ryan 6. So now, a little bit of drum roll on my own knee here. Top five. D, Jay, any guesses who number five will be? If you say Matthew Stafford, I'm hanging up and Jay's on his own tonight. It well, is going to be – uh, uh, <laughs> I will say – no, no, uh, Jackson in Baltimore. Ooh. That's quite a dark horse pick. Uh, I don't quite believe in Jackson's arm or weapons at this point. So he's not exactly in the top ten. But coming in at yeah. number five <laughs> – Coming in at number five is none other than the gunslinger himself. Mr. Patrick Mahomes. At five? Wow. At five. Listen, if Tyreek Hill if Tyreek Hill ends up this is July now. If Tyreek Hill ends up not being suspended, he zooms up the chart. Turn that on down. You're good, you're good. Keep going, Dylan. I was just talking to Dave behind the scenes. You can just ignore me. <laughs> so, uh, if Tyree Kill misses four games, you're ta- I mean, let's talk about it. You're talking 400 yards probably and four touchdowns. You take four touchdowns away from last year, I mean, the guy threw 50. I mean, that's just an unreal number to throw. Not many quarterbacks do it in history. And Patrick Mahomes does it in the second year in the league. So, you're still looking at 46 touchdowns and about – 4,500 yards if you're just missing four oh games out of Tyreek Hill <laughs> from last year. Like, exactly. But you also have to expect kind of a sophomore slump, if you ask me. He didn't start any games his rookie year except the last week against Denver, which, you know, was up and down. 
And then so last year was really his rookie year, and he came out looking amazing for sure, no doubt about it. But also, he had a touchdown percentage rate, according to pro football reference here, of 8.6, which is, I mean, you got to look for consistency when it comes to fantasy, which is huge, but you also have to look for outlier numbers. And 8.6 is definitely an outlier number when you consider the next highest is Russell Wilson at 8.2, and the third highest is Brian Fitzpatrick at 6.9. So that's what I'm saying. It's a real outlier type of number for him to have a touchdown percentage of 8.6. To expect that in the second year, 50 touchdowns is unlikely. So he moves down, especially with Tyree Kill, the big plays, those momentum plays, you know, not to mention the good field position they were getting from special teams with Tyree Kill. That all plays into it. So if you ask me, the touchdown percentage is just too high. The Hill suspension plays in, and Mahomes comes in at number five. That is freaking amazing. I just felt like I heard a guy rattling off like a freaking advanced math class that I couldn't keep <laughs> up with. It's absolutely ridiculous, Dylan. I hope all you people out there in the fantasy world got all that because, like, I'm like, wow, I think I blacked out. Hey, if you're playing to win, you're playing to win. you got to be ready with the stats. That's very good. So what else do you got for us, Dylan? You got about three minutes. I got to hear number four. four. Tell me number four, D. Number four. I don't know who your list is. It's already crazy enough as is. I have my homes at five, cousins at ten. I, I'm already off the train tracks. I've crashed a while ago. <laughs> well, that's why the listeners got to tune into this podcast to get this perspective. You're not going to read anywhere else. I'm making sense of at you, and this is what it is. Number four, we got Andrew Luck. Ooh. That's right. Mr. The Luck. Beard. Mr. The Phenom, the Beard, what have you. Mr. Luck is going to be number four as of July going into the season. He had Miss 39 Julie Voight, that's got to make her vibe in. Julie <laughs> Boyd, your boy. Oh, there's a shout out. All right, guys, he's, he's number two in touchdowns last year, 39 behind only the aforementioned Patrick Mahomes, who threw 50. So there you go. 4,500, nearly 4,600 yards out of Mr. Luck. And if you ask me, that offensive line is completely solid now. I mean, maybe one or two pieces to fill, but Quentin Nelson's a stud. Ryan Kelly at center is a stud. Costanzo, you know, up and down. But tackles get beat sometimes. you got real athletic defensive ends in this league. So if you ask me, well, Luck had the weapons he has now in Indy this year is big. That's the thing. He didn't exactly. have a lot last year. And next this year, he has legitimate weapons. And now you add in Naheem Hines as well in the second year. I'm sorry. It's a good topic. I'll shut up. No, well, you're right. The weapons for sure is huge. Number three, you guys are going to love this. Aaron Rodgers, number three. Listen, the guy threw his Least touchdowns in his entire career. That's pretty without, highly you know, rated considering playing. everything that's being said about him. For sure. For sure. Listen, since he's played 15 games in this league, he hasn't thrown less than 28 touchdowns until last year. That gives you kind of maybe a sign of things to come. Maybe not. We'll see. But he's still up there in yardage. He's in the 4,000 yardage for sure. Let's take a look. Exactly. Yeah. 4,400 yards. The 25 touchdowns. So, a-, a Rod's going to be A Rod. He's going to come back. He's going to throw plenty of touchdowns to Devontae Adams. The question for me is not offensive line, it's weapons. What do you have outside of Devontae? They're looking for things out of Jimmy Graham that they're not getting. Number two, we have Deshaun Watson. Go ahead, Jay. You're good. You're good. Go ahead. Number two, we have Deshaun Watson. The guy flew for 4,100 yards last year, only 26 touchdowns, though. Um, I like that he's throwing to the number one wide receiver in the league and DeAndre Hopkins. Will Fuller, when he's healthy, is a huge touchdown nope. weapon. Deshaun has seven rush touchdowns in two years, so there's the added factor of rushing when it comes to Deshaun Watson. And here's where I lose all credibility as first and goal listeners. You may not listen to the fantasy files ever again after this if you know I'm a Philly fan, but Carson Wentz comes in at number one, people. 